Hey, 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 how's everybody doing today? Welcome to the Tuesday stream. I know I'm not streaming on a Monday. It's kind of weird doing it on Tuesday, but how's everybody doing? I'm gone for four or five days and so much craziness goes on. Like you guys cannot just stay calm for 24 hours. Just 24 hours, guys. <laughs> Tokyo Gaming, how's it going? Angela, Nasir, we in this bit. Yeah, we are. K24 boosted. Keep an eye on the target. They're getting ready to drop some PS5 stock only thought through their app. Interesting. Okay, yeah, man. If you can snag one up, let me know. Uh, is this open? No, unfortunately, this is not open, Angela. This is going to be uh, daily races for today. Thomas D. Lee, Thomas Lee Dunkley. Jesus, I cannot speak. He says, like. Thank you so much for liking the stream, mate. Let's see. Who else is in here? Mobile gameplay. When will the race start? The race should start in about nine minutes. Hey, PX, if you're racing FF, don't forget to race with the duct tape. TT oh yeah, <laughs> we'll do Grim. Now, yeah, I I have the I have the duct tape one. It's just that they gave me a gift card of the Audi TT, and I was just too lazy to scroll down to find the duct tape. But um, yeah, if I do use the Audi TT on the American account, we'll jump into some duct tape uh, ones. Nova S says, how's it going? Onar, Onorhan, I think I said, hello, finally you're here, yes. <laughs> no, yeah, it's been it's been a long weekend, honestly. First first of all, let's just recap on the number one thing, number one topic of the entire weekend, and that's Romain Grosjean, uh, wreck at Bahrain, and uh, just really happy to see that he's doing well. Um, I've seen a couple of videos of him actually doing well with the bandages around his arm, and his, or not his arm, but his hands and his ankle. So it's nice to see that he's doing well and that he's in the hospital with all smiles. It was it was scary. Like I was laying down right here. I was watching the race. Um, I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch maybe two or three laps. If nothing really happens or if I see where it's going, then I'm just gonna probably knock out for like another 20 laps and then wake back up. And then so you know, I'm awake the first lap. I'm laying down here. I got the covers over my face. And literally when I saw the fireball happen when Roman Grosjean hit the uh, the, the barriers I jumped out of my bed came right here straight to the TV and just was seen like just to see that I saw that right because I've never seen an F1 car go into flames like that and it was just so scary I thought the way that they were filming it and the way that they didn't know any status about uh, Grosjean was really scary and I, th I thought we had lost him I thought it was gonna be another uh, Antoine Hubert um, incident because with him they didn't talk about anything for like a good five ten minutes and uh almost honestly the same thing as Antoine so it was it was super scary guys um very very happy that like again that he's doing well and that he was able to get through that uh horrific wreck with like you know with only minor burns and I'm, I'm surprised he didn't break an arm I know they were saying that they, they thought he broke a wrist and they thought that they broke the rib or a rib but luckily nothing was broken it was just all burns and uh uh, just uh, honestly, just the biggest praise to the to the FIA for just building such a safe car, especially because you know everyone was doubting the Halo, and look at that, the Halo saved Grosjean's life. So I know I was opposed to the Halo at first because of how it looked, but yeah, after what happened to Charles Leclerc in uh, at Spa, and also what happened in the I think it was um, Formula Two. Uh, I just uh, it kind of like switched my ideology over on the Halo and just thought that you know it's a good thing that they have it there. <clears throat> yeah, it was super scary. He burned his hand and his feet in the crash. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's you can even see it on the videos. Like on the videos at him in the hospital, he still has the bandages on his hand and uh, around his his uh, his ankle and his feet. But he was in there for 25 seconds. Like think about that. You have no idea how long 25 seconds is when you're in a fire. Like. That should have gave him third degree burns. It's crazy how well that fire suit held up, and and it's just it's so shocking seeing that video of him jumping out of the flames over the barrier and running onto the racetrack. Like it like it literally looks like like a superhero just coming out of flames, like Superman. Like when they throw a fireball at him and he just like leaps out of the flames. You know, it's just it was superhero like. It was crazy just seeing that. No, yeah, if, if it wasn't for the Halo, he probably would have been decapitated. Like, the the way that he went... Hold up. My Siri keeps acting up. Give me a second, guys. Uh, give me one second, guys. I don't know why my Siri keeps acting up right now. But, yeah. Um, put that right here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've... 
the way that his car was wedged in, it was like right in between the barriers. And so, yeah, I, I really do think that the halo just like, like pretend like this is the halo and this is the barrier. It just went, shh, like just went over it and just away from the head. Cause that, that, that definitely could have probably decapitated him. Yeah. he <laughs> Think about it. He's, he, he's in a fiery car. He has to get the belts off. He's got to take off the, 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 the one thing that goes around the, it's like a headrest. Then you got to, I think the haunts are connected to him. So all he's got to do is take off the belts. He's got to take off that headrest and he's got to climb over that car that's sideways. Like it, the car was like this. So he had a somehow, so he's sitting like this. He's got to unbelt himself. He probably fell to the floor, had to stand back up and kind of squirm his way through the barrier and the halo to try to get out of the car. It's just, it's, it's amazing that he was able to do that. And what's even more amazing that he was still conscious after the crash. Cause they said that it was, I believe 53 G's. And if you don't know what that means, it means like the fit, uh, the times of force on gravity. So it's basically 53 times the force of gravity. And the fact that he was able to survive that and stay conscious, that was even more crazy. Yeah, he he looks so yeah, he did look so heroic jumping out of that car. He looked literally like Superman. It was crazy. What's going on, little C? Mizzo, how's it going? Max Turbo, hey, hey, hey. Nice to see you guys in here. Yeah, we're just talking about what happened this weekend at, at Bahrain and uh with Grosjean and just uh just uh again, just very happy to see him climb out of that car alive and probably going to be racing around Abu Dhabi. I don't think he's going to be racing this weekend because of his hands. I don't I don't I don't know how long it takes, or I don't know how, what degree burns he got, but um, yeah, he's probably not gonna be racing this week at Bahrain, but he's pro he's he's thinking about trying to get back to Abu Dhabi. So if he can, then like just applause to him. <laughs> yeah, good to see you too, mate. I, it's probably late over there, huh, Muhammad? Yeah, and, <laughs> and that's that's another thing. You guys, okay, so we had that happen Saturday. I don't know if you guys are big boxing fans, but there was a a fight between um. Mike Tyson and uh, Roy, Jones, Roy Jones Jr. So that was really cool to watch. Um, and then uh, Jake Paul knocked out Nate Robinson. So that was interesting. And then today, th no, actually last night, I was about to go to snow. It was today. Um, this morning when I woke up, Lewis Hamilton has Voldemort. I, if you guys know what that means, um, it's, the, it's the word I can't say on here. But he's got Voldemort. And he's going to be missing out this weekend. So now either Van Dorn is going to step up to drive the Mercedes Hulkenberg or even uh, they're even speculating George Russell. So I, I don't know who's going to take Mercedes this weekend. But Jesus, the, the news just, just does not stop coming that the fact that Lewis Hamilton has Voldemort and he's going to be missing out this weekend. It's going to be really, really interesting to see how exactly well that car is and if it's really just the car or if it's the driver because if if it's just the car and like uh let's say van doren is able to get in it and he's able to come home with a podium then yeah maybe it is the car but if van doren can't even get it into the points and he's struggling and keeping it around like ninth or eighth maybe it's both the car and the driver and that kind of lays to rest the whole oh the car handles everything for lewis hamilton lewis hamilton doesn't deserve the seven championships and all that but not even going to get started with that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let's jump into the race. Um, race is about to start in about a minute here. So we're going to jump into here. We are in our Audi TT doing a race around EMEA. So I don't know where we're going to be uh, positioned at. We do only have a 127 flat. So that's a very slow lap around here. If you got you to gotta get into the 129s. I just have not been able to string a lap together. Uh, I literally only practiced yesterday night for like about an hour and a half. And then uh, today I probably put in like 20 minutes of, of uh, practice on lap times and qualifying times. So we'll see what we can get out right here. The, the strategy that I've seen work out best is running the softs for about seven laps, seven, eight laps, and then uh, switching off to medium. So. If you are doing this race, I recommend doing the one stop over the two stop. I've tried the two stop. It just slows you down. Well, not slows you down, but just it wastes too much time. You lose about five or six seconds that you most likely will not be able to make up because, uh, what do you call it? 
you get either stuck in traffic or um, the tires just wear out too fast compared to someone that's on the mediums. So that's gonna be our strategy here. And uh, we'll see where we finish off at here while we start preparing a match, Mike. Any moment out there. Okay, there we go. Mohammed said 127 is only a second off the pace. Yeah, but look at this. 127 only gets us a 13th place right now. And we got all these fast guys. We got Boo Boo Racer in here. He's really, really fast. Uh, we got Wombo Boss. We got Zaboniero. Mark Brightson. Supra. 250. Dr. Iver. Uh, who else we got in here? Those are the only ones I really know, but... Yeah, look at that. We're, we're starting off in 13th place in this lobby. <clears throat> Race C is good combo. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I like I like anything that's that Brands Hatch now. I used to hate Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch used to be my, one of my least favorite tracks, but I've, I've gained some respect on this track, and uh, it's all right. I, it's still not my favorite, but it's all right. Thank you, Thomas Lee. I'll try to do well. I saw on, on Nico's IG, he's not on the airplane to Bahrain. He's on the airplane or he's not on the airplane to Bahrain? Oh, Nico Hulkenberg. Yeah. So it might be Van Dorn then. Either Van Dorn or if they really want to go gutsy, maybe they can get George Russell. But I don't know how that would work out with Williams. I'm having heavy sedan. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I, I've got seen some, uh, some gameplay for Daily Race A in the sedan. Uh, I saw Tijni's video, he said he called it a boat basically, so I don't know, maybe I'll try it one of these days. I just know today it's just going to be more of increasing our DR so that we can get ourselves prepared for tomorrow's FIA, so. You guys are going to get two streams, one today, well, which we're already doing right now, but then after that tomorrow you guys are going to get another one for the FIA race. Brands is only an hour away from my college race team. Nice, Mohammed. nice. Let me see what else. Uh, watch me see the for shooting a little bit. The McGann was able to do tires well, so just pay attention to those in it. Alright, we'll do. I mean, is anybody in the McGann? Okay, yeah, we have uh, a couple guys in the McGann, actually. It's all TTs and McGanns. <laughs> That's all it is. Alright, BMD, I'll definitely look out for that. I mean, it's, it's the Nurburgring GP. There's always carnage in turn one. Especially if it's a... I don't know if it's a grid start, but... Anyways, guys, I'm gonna stop talking. You also have to take the Hans connected. Yeah, you also have to take off the Hans. Well, actually, no, I think the Hans come off with you. But, alrighty, guys. I'm gonna try to not talk too much here. And we'll see where we finish off at here, starting off in 13th. <clears throat> I'll try game Womble. Take a little peek on the inside. Yeah, just nowhere to go right now. I'm just gonna stay right behind them. Just kind of follow along here. A really bad entrance. stuck behind this what is it the Honda NSX up ahead of rail or rye I, th I think he's on the mediums oh there goes him again so one free position boys and girls we do get some girls in here oh there goes the Honda two free positions Wombo gave us some room. Alright, 
Alright, he's going to the left hand side. That's interesting. I thought he would have kept it on the right hand side and tried to defend us, but I guess not. Alright, up to 10th, boys. So, a really great first two laps. We gained three positions. mistake there. It's okay. It's our first mistake of the race. We didn't lose too much position. We only lost two. That's another key thing around here is that you definitely want to stay away from making mistakes. That's That can literally just kill your race. Especially on the opening laps. Oh, there goes the Spaniard. Just really don't have anywhere to go right now. I think that's going to be our uh, objective for at least the next race. It's just try to get a better qualifying position. Because I, I, on the American uh, account, I got a 126 right now. So it is possible for me to get a better lap time. I just didn't have time to try to improve our uh, European account. Whoa, Jesus. Go ahead, Tom. Go ahead. That was my fault. And I just wasn't expecting him to break that early into that corner. Oh well. Game back. We waited for him. Oh, well, the German is pushing him out now. <laughs> Poor Tom. Just getting bullied again. I think he's just struggling right now. Either that or he's on the mediums. Right, I'm gonna try to get away from him because I don't want to run into the back of him again. <laughs> I'll be three times he ran into the back of him in less than a lap. Oh my goodness. I know I gotta break early right there because he breaks early. Alright, let's serve a penalty. We are doing bad this race, guys. We are all the way back in 18th place. It's only f the fourth lap. Jesus, that scared me. Be able to get him here. Well, that's new. I, I haven't seen a, a Corvette around this track, so that's interesting. Stick on to the inside. Should have the inside going to here. He gives it to us. 
No, it looks like it doesn't. Just right back behind. to the Corvette. Yeah, I, I knew there was a couple guys up ahead that were using the mediums because they were running really, I don't want to say slow, but they were breaking very early. I don't know, I like running the softs first stint and then the mediums on the second stint. I've had a lot more luck doing it that way. But this race has not been great for us as uh, goes the Dutchman mm -mm. we got Rai up ahead we got Brakas Again, it's a little bit wide. I guess our main objective right now is let's try to just finish in the top 10 on this race. It looks possible. We've still got about, what, six, seven laps left. And look at that contact. Up ahead, and we got a position back. What's Tom going to do here with Rye? Keep fighting. That's that's good for us. I'm gonna come into this into the pits this lap. All right, Sarah right, Pelsey. We actually gained a little bit on uh, the Spaniard right ahead of us, or was this the German right ahead of us? I think it was Tom. Yeah, we actually gained some time on Tom. We are back to 19th, gosh. Yeah, we gotta get a qualifying up, guys. Probably Boo Boo Racing isn't winning right now. I wonder if he made a mistake. All I know is that this is looking like carnage up ahead. These six cars are all fighting for position. That was the Honda, or was that the Corvette? Alright. 
Oh my god, these guys are like medium bait. Um, I don't think I have anywhere to go here. And it's again off. Fury mode. <laughs> Tom Miner has <laughs> the moments I don't know. Might be our chance here. I'm gonna push the McGann up. Come on, go, go, go. Whoa, where's this guy going? Three wide down the straight. <laughs> Corvette might get us right here. Try to break as late as we can. Oh yeah, he pushed me out. Oh, so did the, the Audi. <laughs> One of the Peugeot. <laughs> oh man, that was a little dirty off the, off the corner. I don't know if he got understeer if he did that intentionally, but hey. It worked out for him. He's able to get around us. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he goes. There he goes again. Can we get him here on the outside? We can. I oh, should be able to get him to the left corner. I don't know what corner number that is. I think that's three. Alrighty. Oh, oh, nope, still not over. <laughs> Got a pretty good cutback. Try to sneak up in front of him. So get a good line in here. Not the best. Ah, getting off. We get another half a second penalty, guys. It's going to our stuff. Oh, we can get him on the inside here. Oh, 
Oh, someone's off up ahead. Let's try. That really fucked me up. I didn't know where the heck we were going. I saw the ghosted car, but I didn't know where was the line at. The racing line. Breaking way too late on that corner. No server penalty. All right, we still got one more lap, but not the result that we were looking for. I know we could do a lot better, a lot better. I just got it. It all starts off with the qualifying, though. Got to do the biggest defensive job that we can do against uh, Rai. It's gonna be close right here. <laughs> side by side into the final corner. Oh, he gives a little tap. Yellow flags up ahead. What's going on up there? Doesn't look like anything crazy, but drag race and we get 15th. I thought we got 14th, but ah, that was a terrible race, guys. Ah, that was not. That was yeah. That was not good. We'll, we'll try to come back next one, guys. What's going on, Henry? Drew Griffin, how's it going today for me? Well, da -da -da, how much difference is time from automatic to standard? This is a Range Rover. This is a huge time difference. Um, the reason why I recommend doing manuals is because you have control over your um, gear, so you can easily manage fuel levels if you're doing a fuel race, um, as well as some cars. They require you to shift a little bit earlier than where the rev limiter is at, so um, it gives it a little bit more control. So you yeah, I do go faster on manual. Uh, Delkio, not sure, man. Um, like I said, it's just uh, if I have the open day on Sunday, then yeah, we can do it on Sunday. But um, I would let you guys know if I do do it on Sundays. You used to cont now on the wheel. Oh, you used to use the controller now on the wheel. Nice. How's the wheel handling for you? Nice, nice no, uh, Nova. All right, guys, we're gonna jump into qualifying real fast. Thanks, Grim. Now I don't think it was a good race, but thanks for the support, Drew Griffin. Thank you. Bonjour, bonjour, no, bonjour, no, no, it's not bonjour, no, bonjour, bonjour, Jonathan. Awesome, ten wins, nice. Yeah, you're starting to. It, it's all it takes, man. If you get a wheel, you can easily start pulling off some wins. All right, let's see if we can uh, get a better lap time here. Cause that, like I said, that was just horrible. And it all starts off with where we start off at. That can be a very huge help.
That slap isn't looking too bad. I think we're only up behind by like half a second. Still not looking too bad. If we get a 26 on the first attempt, that'd be great. I don't know yet, though. David, how's it going? All right, so not, not a good first banker lap. Uh, still not a good second one. All right, we might have to just back out because I don't think we have enough time to do it. <laughs> yeah, Grim. For me, it took me a while to get used to the wheel. Um, I used to race a lot on the controller on F120. What was it? 2016 or 2017? And when I converted to the wheel on 2018, it was a huge learning curve for me. Like I was super slow compared to the controller. I almost wanted to quit using the wheel. And I thought it was a waste of money, but um, after just practicing with a couple of, uh, of weeks, I was able to get it down, and eventually I was able to get faster than when using the controller. <laughs> How's it going, GT Warnzilla? What are you guys talking about? Um, just seemed nervous into the turns and braked early. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he was on the mediums or what. I think he was on the mediums. But, yeah, it was very interesting how early he kept breaking. I don't even know if we lost any DR or SR, I mean. Let me see. Let me go to my profile. So, we were at 51,000 before. We're at 50,100, and uh, we're down to 95 out of 99 on SR. Uh, Alrighty, guys. <clears throat> so, we can do here for a sex lap. Nice to tear one. Don't get fired because of me. Yeah, it it takes time to get used to the wheel. Especially especially when using a very fast car. It takes even longer to get it down. But I felt like going to GT Sport, it actually like made me a lot better with using the wheel because I started learning more about trail braking and uh, being a lot more aggressive with the turn-ins um, as well as just uh, giving me good feedback. because. F1, before F1 2020, the, the car used to feel very light. It felt really weird. But now they, they really fine-tuned it. it. It handles a lot better on this uh, physics modeling system for F1 2020. Oh my god, that was terrible. Yeah, that's another thing as well. When you do get your wheel, very important to find a, the good tuning on your wheel so that um, it matches your play style. For me, I like my wheel very force feedbacky. I don't like it very loose. And so, um, I know a lot of people like it kind of loose, so it makes it easier to turn. But I like it with a lot of force feedback. I like knowing what my car is doing on the uh, majority of the corners. <laughs> yeah, 
You got both. You're still faster on the DualShock 4? Nice. Keep it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can still be faster on the controller. Um, like I said, just the uh, the downside, I feel like, with the controller is if you're doing long races or if you're doing races with tire wear, it's very difficult to manage your tire wear on a controller. Um, it, it can't... It, it's not impossible, but it's a lot more challenging than if you were to have a wheel. The wheel, it's a lot more smoother inputs. My force feedback right now is at five. I, for for Gran Turismo, I like the way that it feels just out the box on the on default. So I have five five for both the um, force feedback and I don't know what the other one. I don't know if the other one's sensitivity. Uh -uh. <laughs> yes, Grim. That's interesting, Henry. That you're, you know, on different types of cars, you're faster on one thing and then same on the other. All right, let's get. We're starting off in 11th, so we did get a couple positions, but not because of faster qualifying time, just because some people left. So maybe we'll have better luck here. So now I gotta be a lot more patient than what I was last race. Last race I was just going a little. I feel like I was going way too aggressive, led me to some penalties, and led me to some moves that I probably should have not been trying to make. So, we'll try to change some things up here. And hopefully we come home with a better finish. I'm still going to stick to the strategy though, softs and then uh, around lap 7 switch off to the mediums. Yeah, top 10 start. <laughs> I, I, I should be trying to aim for at least a top 5 start. What was the top 5? A 126.8? I mean, if I had my my American account time, it would be we'd be starting in 7th. Which is, uh, just haven't been able to convert it over here in the, in the EMEA account. Yeah, same as yours, Mizzo. Starting in 10th. Oh, it must have kicked somebody out. I thought I was starting in 11th. Oh well. Hey, hey, we got a, we got a free position already, guys. <laughs> yeah, Henry, it gives you a different feel and different perspective on some cars when you transfer when you convert from the wheel to the controller. <laughs> I'm on the soft scenario. Do it. Alrighty, let's see where we go. Behind Radical. So far, everybody got to turn one cleanly and turn two. Where do we go from here? I think we just gotta kind of just stay with this train. All right, we're gonna follow Radical through. Oh no! What? Oh my god, I hate how sensitive this penalty system is. Uh. It's so freaking sensitive, guys. I thought they fixed it. Like, oh god, I know where to go there. And we get a half a second penalty, okay. Oh shit. I didn't realize Wumble was up there.
What sucks is I was trying to do everything I can to not make contact with Radical. And I still made contact with his rear. Oh, basically the exact same premise as last lap. I'm back out, I don't want to deal with this. There goes one both boss. We gotta serve our penalty here. Alright, back to 11th, boys. so scary right now because I don't know what's going to happen. Everyone's just fighting side by side. Young Pascal is trying to push off the black out ECT. Oh, Womble just get punted out. He's going to try to go on the inside. Even want to try with Tremo. Oh, there goes Young Pascal. Shifts onto the inside. We should get ninth or tenth. Or is this ninth or tenth? I don't know. Ninth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kremo's next on our radar. Wumble has a one second penalty, so stay right behind him. Should be a free position. So, Robo, how's it going? Hola. I don't know what crema means in Italian, but in Spanish, if you replace that with the A, crema, it's basically like cream or lotion. On the inside. Alright boys, <laughs> now let's try to get Radical. We just gotta pick him off one by one. Not make any mistakes.
Radical's actually pulling away. A lot faster than I thought he was. In back, your phone died. <laughs> nice to see you back, Mohammed. This is really interesting. It's like we got a basically the gap between eighth all the way up until second, maybe. It's like all identical. We're fairly close. A couple guys come into the pits. Let's switch off from their softs to the medium. I'm going to stay out one more lap. Let's see if I can use them. It's kind of like a ghost. So he's gonna go. I'm gonna give him the spot. He's got fresher tires on us, so no point in fighting. I'm very curious to see what we're gonna end up when we come off the pits. Like if you're six and a half seconds up, you should be fine. Depending on your pit entrance. I don't know if that was that good, but we'll see where we come out right here, boys and girls. Cadence, can I super chat possibly? Yeah, you could if you like. <laughs> well, you mean to play like messages. <laughs> All right, so we'll come out. Jesus. Oh, what? Why? Okay. That sucked. All right, well, just lost eighth place right there, boys.
I mean, I understand why he was mad, but I had the inside line going to turn number one. I didn't try to force him off the track on purpose. He tried taking me out twice. He tried taking me out off of the exit of turn number one. He's, that's why he turned his wheel all the way to the right hand side. And since, since he knew he couldn't get me off of turn number one, he decided to just ram into me on turn number two. Yeah, I'll watch the replay after this. I mean, I know what happened. I know why he's mad. I just don't think that he should be mad. I just don't think he should have lost his cool like that. I don't know, looks like we might just finish in 10th here. Unless Bev just comes out of nowhere. We did lose a, a bunch of time. I wouldn't be surprised if he takes out the Italian of Cremo. You can go back to school till January? Nice. We still got three laps left. We're kind of like at a standstill right now. We're not gaining on these guys up ahead, but we're not. They're not losing me either. We're just kind of been stuck at this like two, 2.2 second gap. some time up right there. Well, we definitely closed up the gap to Kremo. 1.5 seconds. So we gained half a second this lap. We could keep doing that. We could probably be on his back bumper. Let's see. Well, actually, no. We got to do like 7 tenths of every lap be on his back before on the final lap. 1.3 now. Oh, yo, flag. Who's that for? The McGann. I was hoping he just would not unghost in front of me. That's all we need right now. Just someone just to unghost in front of me and then boom, another penalty. Wombo Boss. It's gonna come out in seventh. Someone's got a second penalty. I don't know who though. Can't tell if it's the German or Wombo Boss. Oh, it's the German. A radical.
<laughs> yeah, another penalty for Radical. He's looking like me last race. Last race, I kept getting penalties after penalties after penalties. And what's funny is that if he would have let me go, he probably could have been fighting for f fifth, possibly, because he would have not lost like four seconds. Actually, I don't know if he would have been fighting for fifth, but he would have been a lot more in the clear for sixth. Right, he's actually catching up here, so it's going to be a five car battle for sixth place here on this final lap here. Radical doing some extreme defending. Here I come, I am BX cam. Three wide into turn two. I wasn't going to try to keep it on the outside. Well, Kremo's going for it. Kremo went for it. Kremo did it. He pushed that Wumble. And he gets a four second penalty. This might be seventh place for us, boys. I don't want to get anywhere near Kremo. As I say that we're like right next to him. Oh, okay. I guess he I guess he gave me the spot. <laughs> Alright guys, seven oh shit. Seventh place, almost, almost blew it up for ourselves right there. But seventh place, I'll take it. Now we'll jump into the replay and see what happened between us and Radical. Cause, um, like I said, I really don't appreciate that. But hey, if he, that's, if he's gonna get butt hurt for, you know, side by side racing. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you then. Uh, uh. X for shift down. What do you mean by that, keep the eye? <laughs> no, yeah. Especially with all the ugliness that occurred, I'm, I'm really, really shocked that we got a seventh place. Top five, though, they were able to get from like close to us. It was very close. But it was, we were all like separated, you know, fairly evenly and then after that top five we're able to just pull away because of all that craziness <laughs> yeah i'm saving the replay right now I'll watch it like i said not very happy with radical all right let me grab my uh grab my controller so we can watch the replay radical just left too all right let's jump into the replay and see what exactly occurred and what happened here? For the car, let me grab the controller. Alright, there we go. Ooh, we got a Porsche. 911 GT3. Like I said, I, I know what happened. I came out of the pits, so I'm on the inside. Um, both of us were not going to give up the position. I held it on the inside and we made a little bit of contact. He got pushed out wide. So, I mean, that's, I, I think it's more of a racing incident, but I, I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe I came up a little bit off of turn number one. That's what we're going to check it again. Dakota, how's it going? Did he use super? Yeah, I saw super GT's, uh, American introduction. No wonder why he was online. I was like, I'm so curious to why he's not online yesterday or why he hasn't been on the live stream in a while, but now we know why. He was uh, doing stuff in America. Maybe we'll race against him one day in the United States. Have some home turf advantage. Home turf advantage. 
Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Linus. Yeah, unfortunate about. I tried really hard too to not make contact with him. It's like what was it right here? I, mean, I let go of the throttle. I try to brake as early as I can. We just make the slightest amount of contact with him. Didn't hurt him, but we still got that one second penalty. So now let's jump up to the part that we all wanted to see and of what happened. Right here was bad too. He just yeah, Wombo Boss just Wombo Boss just got like bullied this entire race. I feel bad for him. All right, let's go to the pit stops. There we go. So we're coming out. Let's see which is on the inside. I mean, I have, I, I, I don't know. Am I, am I the furthest to the right that I could be? I mean. Yes, he just. I don't think he just took a count too. That was there. And, oh, that's that's probably the reason why he got mad. Cause he had a penalty. Where's he at? He probably. I think he thought that he was clear. Cause usually whenever a car comes out of the pits. You, you most of the time clear them. But I just drove it in there like normal and... Yeah, I guess the game thought that he tried pushing me down. He gets that penalty. Tries to take me out there. Yeah, he, he didn't even break. <laughs> you can see on the telemetry right here. Look at the, look at the throttle. It just stayed on the throttle. He didn't try breaking. So... I don't know. What do you guys think? Was that... Was that my fault? Was that his fault? Racing incident? I'm saying it's more of a racing incident, in my opinion. We're both going for the same spot. He didn't. He didn't know that I was gonna that I was gonna stay right there. Most people usually yield coming out of the pits. I was gonna give up the spot, but I was gonna give him enough room on the outside. I was gonna push him off. And we just we just collided right there. And then, but this right here, this is unnecessary. Hey, come on. Oh, well. I mean, it happens, I guess. Sometimes you just get a little frustrated during the... Oh, shit. We didn't make the race. Oh, <laughs> no. I got stuck on the replay. I didn't even see that the race started. Oh, well. Let me see what you guys are saying up here. Uh, Rough penalty for him for the initial incident, but yeah, it was his fault. He should have got a five or six second penalty for car and contact. Nowhere else to go. He just turned in like there was nobody there. I think the first penalty. You think the one second penalty was justified? Interesting. Yeah, I think it was an unlucky penalty. I think it was just a racing incident. I don't think he deserved the one second penalty, but um, at the same time, uh, he should have not taken me out like that. For I don't know. <laughs> he blames me for extent of the game. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he. Could, yeah, he could have given me room. But like I said, when you're usually when you're seeing a car coming out of the pit, um, you don't expect them to to uh, continue to be there. Usually, they they yield over and um, allow the car ahead. But like I said, I, I was I was racing hard. I didn't I was gonna give up the position that easy. I was gonna try to race my way for that position. But hey, I guess stuff happens. No, yeah, he definitely didn't deserve that penalty. <laughs> Kaden says that that's Radical's fault. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's see if we can improve our lap time. And uh, we'll probably do one more race around here, and then we'll jump into uh, some daily race. No, actually, we'll stay on daily race C, but we'll jump into the American lobbies and see if we can have some better luck over there. Like I said, we need to improve our lap time here. Regardless. Yes, I'm doing manufacturers tomorrow. So tomorrow, uh, if you guys don't know, the manufacturer cup race is around Monza. 
without the first chicane. So think of the entire track exactly the same, except there's no first chicane. You just go straight through that chicane. So that's going to be very interesting. The one time I did do that race was back in, I believe, November of last year. So it's been almost a year since we've done a race around or FIA race around there, like in that layout. And I, I believe it was with the group force too, back in last year. That was actually, I think, my first FIA win. I drove for Aston Martin. Let's see if we can improve our lap time here. First step is just getting to the 26.9s. And then once we get into the 26s, then we can start working on uh, bring it down even more. an interesting tactic that they go wide into the final corner and use that grass to help them uh, turn. <laughs> yeah, I was not going to give him space. <laughs> Is what, what kind of race car driver? Uh, I don't want to say race car driver. What kind of person would I be letting him go? Come on. You got to make it difficult. I know there's a time and place to make the move difficult, and right there I just felt like I could have kept the position if I held the inside end. In a way I was right, but I just wasn't expecting him to collide into us, get that penalty, and then take us out. So. <laughs> Max Turbo with the $10, thank you so much, going to preemptively Give some American money to help the American lobbies. <laughs> Thank you, Max. That will definitely help out in the American lobbies. For every dollar we gain, one horsepower. So you gave us 10 horsepower. <laughs> four fifty-eight. You want me to use the four fifty-eight or something? Oh, you top out at 170, okay. On the 458. Let's see what we get here, boys. If I can stay in the slipstream, I'll do fine, probably. The slipstream is not really my worries. It's more of the punting that's going to go on on turn two. Or on the second chicane off of Curva Grande. That's where my biggest fear is going to be. Ah, we just came in a little too narrow. Oh yeah, the, the Group 4 Corvette's ridiculously fast on the straights. I found that out on the... Uh, on the open lobbies that we did last week. It's very fast on acceleration and on top end speed.
Alrighty guys, this is looking like a 26. Unless I screwed up like that. <laughs> nah, it's gonna be a 26. There we go, 26.9. Can we get a 26.8? We're doing 26.7. Oh, look at that, we're up, we're almost up two tenths, boys. I know we messed up here last lap. Ah, we messed up again. Slightly better exit. But if we could get that down, we could definitely hold up a two tenth lead from our last lap. Lost some time right there. Might gain some time on the final corner. I know I messed up there last lap. Oh, no, we're not. Interesting. Okay. All right, come on. Come on. We could get two tenths up. We were up. Make up some time right here on this corner. There we go. So what is this? Uh, looking like one tenth. There you go, one tenth up. Just got a final sector. Come on. A little bit wide. Oh man, we messed up that final corner again. Thank you for the subscription. If you guys are enjoying the stream and you guys want to see more content, leave a like as it really helps out the YouTube algorithm. And also, if you guys subscribe, you'll catch up on uh, new videos and future streams, like tomorrow when we stream our uh, FIA race. So, yeah, if you guys are enjoying it, smash that like button. We'll be, we'll be done with time trial soon I'm just I'm trying to get it down to a 26.8 or 26.7 I know we could do it I know we can I got so much confidence that we can get it down there just got to clean up a few areas I don't know yet, this is looking like a really good lap. Come on, let's get a final good lap, or final corner. Good final corner. Ah, no, that was a bad corner. Alright, we'll try it again.
even with that mistake on the final corner, we beat our lap record. So that last lap was a really great lap. So we can replicate it. Alright, up to hundreds of a second. Up half a tenth. Come on, bad exit. Oh, yes, boys. Look at this. Look at this lap right here. 26.8, let's go. Can we get a 26.7, come on. Right now we're we're flirting with Alright, right now we're we're flirting with 26.7. Ah, no, it's not gonna be enough. Yeah, we're just losing time now. Whew. Now my arms are hurting. A lot of people have two accounts. Uh, one of them is their Smurf account, and one of them is like their FIA account. That's what I do. So, well, not really. I have two accounts because I like to go over to Europe and race with people in Europe. I feel like it really helps me out um, when I go back to America and race there. But my American account is my main account. That's where I do most of my. That's where I do all actually my FIA races. I don't do any FIA races in Europe. I'm shocked that Audi is leaving Formula E going to... That's... Oh, I didn't realize that. It's interesting. Ram everyone with no consequences. <laughs> Stock car racer, how's it going? I'll do the race, but I don't think I'm going to do well since I'm in the Porsche. Yeah, I don't know how the Porsche is going to do around there. Basically, if you have a top-end speed car, and you can stay in the slipstream, avoid all the, all the chaos that's most likely going to unfold going into the second chicane. Um, you should do all right during that fire races. Become radical, become the German that wronged you. <laughs> That'd be funny. I think you should do, you should have to race daily to race manufacturer. Yeah, you do. I mean, you kind of do have to race daily to run manufacturer. Um, if you want to run in a higher manufacturer, uh, lobby, like a higher ranked lobby, then you have to do well on your daily so that you can gain some DR. So, 
Porsche does better than most people think on Power Trash, though. Yeah, but there's other cars that do really well as well, like the Corvette just does really good on power tracks. Um, the the Aston Martin is really quick. Uh, the Viper, I think, could hold its own. I don't know how fast it's going to do against those cars, though. Um, I'm trying to think of what other cars are really fast on the straight. Um, the Peugeot? Whoever's running the Peugeot Group 4 is definitely going to be very quick. Um, but their tire wear might be bad it might not last yeah it might be pain in the ass if you're in the if you're in the Porsche yeah my la thank you mobile yeah I don't know what the hell I'm saying mobile gaming yes the last couple of laps I did were the fastest ah, I think we could get a seven Oops, I didn't mean to push watch replay we're gonna continue trying to get down to a seven into a six and then we'll jump into a race our final race here in the EMEA account, and then we'll jump into some American Lobby Racing. And then we'll call it a stream, boys. So, imagine if we raced against Super GT in, uh, in the American Lobbies. I doubt he's on right now. It's pretty late over there in England. That'd be interesting, though. I did race against one of the quickest guys in the world. Like, this guy made it to the... Gran Turismo World Finals. Jeez, I can't even talk. And uh, that was, he was ridiculously fast. Oh, tomorrow's group three? Why did I think it was group four? Okay, so yeah, group three cars in. Yeah, the Aston Martin's fast. Um, shit, I really don't know. <laughs> you guys might have to Educate me on what's fast on group three cars. I know for sure the Aston Martin's gonna be OP on that on that track. Just shows you my priorities. There, I didn't even realize that tomorrow was a group three race. I thought it was a group four race. <laughs> you're gonna say <laughs> yeah oh yeah the super is definitely quick on the straights is it gonna be really heavy focus on fuel consumption or tire wear or just more of a all-out race No stop, okay. I say if it was a fuel race, um, just how you shift the Viper on group three, it would definitely benefit us. The fuel's at times one? What? <laughs> yeah, they're like, don't worry guys, we got you on fuel. We know you're gonna be revving it out like two thirds of the lap. Oh yeah, you d that's probably the only race you don't want to qualify in first, unless if you're racing at a... Actually, no, yeah, you don't want to qualify first. You can get easily overtaken, and then you can e get easily rammed. Hey, we got our 26.7, guys.
All right, can we get a 26.6? Might have shifted up a little too early. We actually got a better exit right there than our lap prior. We just gotta get one corner right. We could probably get a 26.6. Ah, uh, did we screw it up? I think we screwed it up, boys. No! We just had one corner to get right. That's all we had. We lost our 26.6. Don't know when to shift up on that corner. Oh, we ran wide. Ugh. Into the wall. I did some open lobby practices, and the cold tires will make you understand the first. Yeah, uh, um, we had an open lobby race there, and um, I, I saw that everyone like there was like three cars or four cars that went off on the on Curva Grande. Cadence, Audi is going to run IMSA, and also, who do you run? I run uh, uh, Dodge in the FI for this year, or for this season. Mm -mm. Lap 9, my tires start to go. Oh, yeah, how long is the race? How many laps is that race? Um, I'm going to run at Spa and then practice at Monza in a while. while watching. All right, sounds good, Cadence. Otherwise, if someone tries to make the move, you might actually ram them out wide. They do the same to you, possibly. Yeah, it could possibly happen. Just, uh, I guess it depends on the experience on the lobby. I know, I'm, I'm hoping that people will know that you'll get a lot of understeer going to turn number one or into Curva Grande in the uh, higher up ranking lobbies, but we'll see. Hey, we're up to, to third place on our friends list. We need, we need to lose three tenths if we want to catch up to Agunator, and if we want to get into the top ten, we need to lose almost six tenths of a sec. Or, no, not six tenths. Yeah, we do need to lose six tenths. So, we made up some time here. Three tenths up on our qualifying. So, let's see where we qualify at here. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have probably left now because it's, uh, I think, like midnight in Europe. Midnight all the way up until probably two in the morning. Yes, Dim, 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 Dim Mitacho. I, I hope I said that correctly. <laughs> CNF. <laughs> APX, I'm going to have to go. Getting a little busy here at work, so glad to watch you. Yeah, thank you so much, Max. Yeah, catch me tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be the big day. Tomorrow's going to be the big day, guys, where we can see if we can get a podium or a win for FIA. And uh, we have been grinding our American account. We're up to 56,500 on our DR, so... I don't know, guys. We might be placing a second split lobby tomorrow, or maybe... I don't know about first. I think first is a little too far out still, but we might be placing on a second split lobby. <laughs> it's 1 o'clock in the morning over there, Mohammed. Yeah, definitely. I'll see you later, Mohammed. Or Max Turbo, I'll see you... I thought you were leaving, Mohammed. My bad. But yeah, Max, I'll see you either tomorrow. If not, I'll see you on the next video if you, if you can't make it tomorrow. But thank you again so much for the $10 donation really gonna go towards the um, the stuff that I want to purchase here for the stream are these races good for getting SR up I saw you get murdered on the first race um now year it depends um if you're starting off in the front it can be a and you can outrun everybody and race cleanly then yeah it can be really great for the SR 
if you're very consistent, that's also going to be good for your SR because you're not going to be spinning out. But if you struggle around this track or if you're in the mid pack when you start off on the race, might not be the best on SR. But I haven't done daily race A or daily race B. So I don't know if those are wreck fests or if those are cleaner race than here. So, um, like I said, if you have confidence in yourself and you think you're faster on this track and you can just get away from everybody, then yeah, it can be great for SR. It's 3 a.m. for you in Europa. Hey, I see you, CNF. What part of uh, Europe are you from, CNF? 1 a.m. here in the UK. <laughs> What's going on, Deadeye? Nice to see you here. What's the tire strat? Yeah, I don't know what the tire strat is looking like for tomorrow. I tried them again. Not very happy. <laughs> I really like the Audi TT. I think the Audi TT is just does so well around this track. Hey, you're welcome, Ness here. Suggestions on any cars that aren't FF. I refuse to use it. Well, I mean, people have been using them again on this racetrack. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I've seen. I mean, I've tried. I've seen people trying to use the Honda NSX. Uh, it can do all right around here. Especially but if this was a Group Three, then the Honda NSX would definitely be great around here. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. That will do good around here. Um, those are the only cars I could think of. I know the Scirocco, but that's from front wheel drive. So yeah, the Megan and the NSX. Those would be my my cars. I'd probably go. <clears throat> the Cayman, the K or the Cayman. Yeah, I could I I could see it do well, I guess, around here. Um, but I'm not sure how well it does on the straights. Yeah, the Cayman for the stability. It's going to be a no-stop tomorrow, yeah. F-Type. I've never seen someone use an F-Type around here. But, um, try it out on, uh, on time trials, the F-Type, before you decide to jump into the race with it. Yeah, definitely don't work too hard, Max. <laughs> Max, that's my line. Everyone hope everyone has a great night, whatever. <laughs> Um, Death type kills the tires. Yeah, I mean, I've I've only used the F type once in a race, and that's uh, that was Group Four around Spa. It was really good around that track. So it's been a while since I've used that. I kind of forgot how the car handles, how it does with tires, all that good stuff. <laughs> F type's another brick, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the F-Type is the brickiest, brickiest of all bricks. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> Alrighty guys, 8 seconds till the next race starts. Where are we going to start off here with the 126.7? Pretty sure there's a lot of people that have gotten off, so... Uh, might not be racing against all the fast guys that we were racing against earlier, but you never know. You never know. Like I said, after this one, we're going to jump into the uh, American lobby. So if you're racing in the American lobbies and you want to race, let's uh, let's do it. Okay, so Wombo Boss is still in here. We still got Rai. We got Travisio. Or Travisio. Travisio. I don't know how you would pronounce it. In first place with a 126.2. So yeah, we lost a lot of the the really fast guys here. So let's see where we could come out with starting in second. Daddy stuffed his back. <laughs> What's going on, stuff? Mohammed, you're in my lobby. Hey, where are you at? Mohammed, B. Are you in eighth place, Mohammed? Is that you? I'm assuming that's you. <laughs> Uh, what were you saying, CNF? 26.7 is a good time. This is my optimum with the Cayman. Nice. We can't get that lap together. Yeah. 
<laughs> Mohammed said, PX Cam, why am I here? I don't know why you're here, mate. Maybe because you're fast. Probably why you're here. Fake Taxi, how's it going? Let's see what's up to Fake Taxi. I already said how to you, Mohammed. I said how to you like five times already this, this stream. Have a good race and good luck. Oh, you're in, C you're in sixth place? Oh, yeah, there you are, Fake Taxi. Okay, so that's I didn't realize that was UCNF. I should have made the connection. Neo Ghost Jedi, how's it going? And Ace Bo. What's going on guys? Ace Bo and Neo Ghost Jedi. Good afternoon, have a good race, good luck. Why am I a high rated lobby with a <laughs> It's probably because a lot of the uh, other guys that are like in the A and A plus they left Muhammad. But hey, this gives you a good Good chance to try to gain some DR and uh, and kind of just see where you, where you're struggling at on pace. Was it your second account? Nice. Uh, I'm not sure what the next week for manufacturers. We could check after this though. Alrighty, guys. Wish me luck. Starting off in second place. Maybe we can stay with the leader here. Possibly. Whoops, I didn't realize that this moved. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see my feel a little bit better. Alright, it's, it's two car breakaway so far. bad Th those are terrible two corners right there boys we're staying in the slip of Travisio Goes a little bit wide. I'm just gonna stay right behind him and uh, see if we can push him into a mistake. I don't wanna fight too much because I don't wanna allow Wright to catch up to us. It's, it's still a very long race. We still got about 11 laps left. So if we can stay right behind him and just uh, maybe push him into a mistake, then that'll be the best case scenario for us. If not, we'll just try to fight him on the final few laps. Just try to pull away with them.
Oh, that was bad. <laughs> I thought I would get a corner cut for that, but we got very lucky right there. because he hasn't been able to pull away from me. She's just been stuck nose to tail. A little bit of a love tap there. Nothing cynical. Sorry if I'm not talking too much guys, I'm just concentrating because I don't want to accidentally take him out because I lose lack of concentration. So I'm just going to ride with him. An attempt to pull away from Rai. So like when we do go into this two car battle and I start trying to overtake him, we don't have any interference. Could have been bad. Yeah, it probably, his tires probably will be gone way before us. I'm curious to see when he's going to come into the pits. You know what would be a big plot twist if he's on the mediums? <laughs> I would not see that coming. Whoa, I'm in contact with him. I don't want to give him a scare. Now he's now he's trying to defend every corner. Watch, we're gonna catch up to him right now. He's gonna try to defend the inside. See, look at that. Oh. I don't know if that was a reaction if he was actually planning to do that, but either way, he did a good job. Oh. 
Oh, a little tap. And we get a one second penalty. Ah! So done with these one second penalties, guys. Uh, it's heavy rumor right now that Russell might. Yeah, I mean, I, I tell you guys, Russell could get that seat. Did Travis just come out on the sauce? He might have. He might have just ruined his chances of winning this race if he came off on the sauce. Someone confirm to me if, if he came out on the softs or not? Or am I just seeing things? Or did we come off on the softs? He's on a two stopper, huh? Okay. going on up here who spun out I think Travis should stop with us did he stop because we got a penalty? There's just so much going on in this race. What's going on? <laughs> I, I swear to God, I, th I, th I thought he just stopped too. Like, slowed down. I'll have to read your comments right now, guys. No, he didn't. He came out on the mediums? Okay, so we're both on the mediums then. Yeah, he's not really pulling away. But now we gotta catch up to him. Because we had to serve that penalty. Oh yeah, we just we just cut that gap in half. What I'm trying to figure out is when is CNF and Jack Tony gonna come into the pits? That was a terrible exit. Might get a better exit here. Just a little too far back. A 
When's CNF going to come in and Jack Tony? <laughs> Surprised they're keeping up with that pace this far into the race. I think they're coming on lap 12. Yeah, I didn't realize that McGann was that good with the tires. They have nowhere to go right now. <laughs> oh, ah, I thought he was going to lose it. He's got to be getting nervous though now. If he made a mistake like that, he knows we're on the attack. Well, we're going to be in the attack soon. He's got to be getting nervous. Oh, no, the McGann. The Spaniard. That was close. I honestly thought I missed my breaking point on heading to turn number one. Whoa! <laughs> it's kind of a squeeze job there. Huh? Trevisio? Trevisio? Alright, well that's one move. It'll be messed up if CNF wins this race because me and Trevor still are fighting so much. So he still has to service his pit stop. Unless he's on the mediums. He's just taking them all the way. Oh no, there he goes. Alright. Two car race for first place. Mr. Nkoto is, is catching up. All right, guys, this is going to be aggressive time. If he gives me a, a gap, I'm going for it. Right, final lap, guys. We, we're not set up on a good position right here. Oh, go take it, take it. I sent it in. I sent it in way too deep. We'll have another try. 
<laughs> Mohammed's right behind us. <laughs> A little tap. <laughs> I had to go for it, boys. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know. I have to look in the replay. I don't. I have to look in the replay. I don't know. Last lap ball or nothing. I don't think I... I didn't want to pass him like that, though. I, I don't know if... I'll have to look on the replay, because I don't know. Yeah. I have to look on the replay. I, I, I felt like I had the insight, but at the same time, I felt like I went in too aggressive on there. Ugh. No, yeah, Mohammed. Mohammed, how did it look like from back there on your point? I, I think, I think I pushed him off too aggressively right there. I'm just, I need to look at the replay. The what Travisio did to you in the second to last corner. Well, I mean, he, he's probably mad. Yeah, good, good race, CNF. Hold up, let me let me apologize to Trevisio. I should I should give him the spot back now. Mohammed, you should have won that race. I think that was my fault. Uh, not how I wanted to win the race, guys. I think he left. Oh no, he's still there. Let's see the replay. Look at this. But yeah, good race to Womble and uh, Fake Taxi and Mohammed. Jack Tony. Okay, thanks for the race. Let me uh, let me jump into the replay real fast. I saved the replay, right? I hope I did. Uh huh. I don't know, let me see. Um we gotta look at this quick. He blocked and blocked. No, I, well, I mean Yeah, he blocked but yeah. Okay, I'll push you off if it's okay with you. <laughs> yeah, Trevish next time, yeah, I'll 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 that going into turn two, that was that was definitely the two optimistic will untouch like give you back the position, but going into that final corner, I think yeah, that was that was completely on me. I think. I don't, let me check the replay refresh just to make sure that I won't be 100% sure. But uh, yeah, next time you. No, yeah, blocking isn't murdering. He, I don't even think he blocked at all. Um. He defended his position pretty well. What's going on, BS Rodeo? No, yeah, Trevisha, next time we race together, man, I'm gonna just let you get ahead of me. That was, yeah. I feel really bad, man. Let me see. Skip all the way to the end. Oh! Good luck. Good thing to all those games that make you push X so fast. Alright. Actually, no. Nope. One more lap. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, what the hell happened? Okay, there you go. Alright, going to this corner. Let's take it step by step. 
Kept it on the inside. I don't... <sighs> I don't know, chat. That was a very aggressive move by me. I don't know. Are we alongside here? Nah, no. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have to be so I'm looking at this now. I know you got I know you gotta try to go for that win, but So we both both break. I don't know man. <laughs> no, I know I didn't. You're there he turned into you. Just a race dance thing, yeah. Let me see it from uh, Mohammed's angle. Mohammed, Mohammed basically had the best view. So let's see. I'm on the inside. Yeah. I'm... I mean, yeah, I, I guess you could argue that that was not a, that's not an overtaking zone. So I probably should not be trying to make an overtake right there. It got in his way, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Racing incident, but you don't normally send it. Yeah, I know. And I know it's really aggressive. Like I said, Trevisha, you, got, you have permission. Next time, I'm, if I'm on the outside of you and you're on the inside of me, you have permission to, put, to pump me out, dude. I give you, I give you the permission, and if you want to pump me out, just pump me out. I won't, and I won't, I won't say anything. I won't, I won't just take it, like on the chin. And poor Cena, <laughs> Cena got taken out, but I think Travis was just trying to get it back onto the track. I don't think he was trying to initially take off Cena. He thought you were clean, so he kept the racing line. No, yeah. They keep the racing line. Let's see, like so he okay, so I'm on the inside. He gave me uh, well take the normal racing line right there. I don't know, I guess that's your call. That's your let's just remember the good parts of the race. Yeah. It was fun, yeah, it was fun, Trevisio. But y'all just raced hard. That's no big use real race yet. Hey, it's part of the game. We all make mistakes. Yeah, it's a risky move. It is. Go back and look at your fast time through the section. Someone get PX cam racing some soap, please. <laughs> oh, SR, SR. Should have been a Brit 1 2. <laughs> it was a Brit 1 2. Mohammed's a Brit. It's actually a Brit 1 2 3. Look at that. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm not Brit, but, you know, I, I, I guess I'm repping. He doesn't hit you. He held his he held his line. Some very nice driving from both lads until the instance. Yeah. I'll take I'll take that one, though. I'll, I've seen it a couple times. I'll, I'll just take it. It was an aggressive move by me. I should have just let it go and just let him win. Um, like I said, next time, Trevisha, if we're in the same situation and you take me out, I'm not even gonna be mad. I'm, I'm just gonna take it on the chin, and uh, we'll we'll continue on. And uh, yeah, <laughs> you'll see your line through. He had the fastest line. He disrupted. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I call that, boys? I call that greed. That was greedy from my part. I was going. I wanted that win, and uh, I went too too much for that win. Alrighty. Let's jump into our next race. We're going to jump into America. You got Lewis Hamilton? <laughs> How? <laughs> Trevisio's on the pad. Interesting. Damn. 
We live and we learned, yeah. Like I said, Trivisio, next time if you see me on the outside or if you're behind me and you pump me out, I'm not even going to be mad, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> Charge the controller. I'm tr I I can't. I don't have any uh, plugs in on my, on my PS4. I have one plug for the... Uh, one of the USBs is being occupied for the steering wheel. The other USB is, gonna, is being occupied by the um, by the hard drive. So I don't have any ports left. Alrighty. Um, can we get in a race? Let's see, five. We can get one race here for the boat race. Where are we at? Actually, let me. One of you guys asked, "What's the next race on the uh, manufacturer cup race?" So, we got Monza and then we got Willow Springs in the group 4. So that's going to be an interesting race too. If you if you're running the Porsches, if you're running the the front wheel drive cars, Corvettes, um let's go around here too. Um I can't think of anything else. Then you'll be doing good around Willow Springs. Uh-uh. Pat is okay in time trap, but tire wear. Yo, yeah, that was kind of wondering why you were losing so much pace on as the t as the laps kept going, because um, it's I, I like I said, it's you can you can manage it on the pad, but it's like ridiculously difficult to try to um hold hold the uh not hold but save your tires on the pad. That was a great race, Mohammed. Muhammad got close. <laughs> if both of us, me and Travisio, took each other out, Muhammad would have been there to get the win. I just bought a, a 10 foot cell phone charger. My controller never goes dead ever. Nice. It's a good one. Da, da, da. I got a four port. Yeah, I gotta get a I gotta get a port extender for my uh, PS4. And if I if I manage to somehow get a PS5, also get a port extender for that because I think it only comes with like two ports too and a USB C. Dun, 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 dun. Um. You cannot drive that track without falling off. <laughs> Missile sub USB? Yes, the USB. Alrighty, guys, let's jump into uh, to this boat race. Let's try one out and see how it goes. We might actually lose some DR though if we try. Yeah, screw it. For the views, guys. We're gonna race this one for the views, for the lulls. Yeah, Big Willow's next. It's got how many in the front? So it's got one in the front and two in the back. Interesting. But I think it's also got a USB-C. BS Roadie or Big Will is your home track? Same here, mate. Well, no. Actually, Laguna Sega is more like my home track. It's 35 miles from your house. Nice. Have you ever actually drove around uh, Willow Springs, BS Rodeo? Uh, let's see what a 159 is what they want around here, huh? Let's try this bad boy out Oh my god this car Yeah, what is Willow like in real life? You live about 100 miles away from the Little Springs, nice. A lot of restrictions on the cars. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't let you run the fastest cars on there. Wow. I braked ridiculously late and I still didn't make it to the corner.
<laughs> yeah, it does understand a lot. It honestly feels like you're you're driving around like in a Rolls Royce. Like the Rolls Royce, it's so big, like and sturdy. I don't know how to explain it. Like when you when you take a corner, you feel the weight. Just rolling off to one side. These brakes are doing nothing. Alright, let's see what we come off here. I think at 159 was like the fastest on my friend's leader. Or my friends list, so I think it's gonna be a 159, but what is this a 204? 202, okay. Yeah, it's a 202. I think we gotta break like way back here. Uh, we're already up half a second. Oh, oh well. I'm just gonna continue going on so I can try to just get a little more familiarized with the car. Alright, see you later, Lil C. I'll catch you tomorrow on the FIA race. I still don't know what brake balance to use on here. Three to the front. Try that. Oh, what'd you say, BS Rodeo? Kind of like driving dad's sedan, right? Yeah, basically, I guess. <laughs> we actually got an eighth place starting position. Okay. 158 is the fastest. Interesting. All right, well, we'll see what we finish off here, boys. Hopefully we're going to get taken out. All right. <clears throat> um, give me a second, guys. I'm just trying to check something real fast. Okay, there you go. Angelo, what's going on? We're doing a uh, daily race A right now. Penalty. All right. Um. Hold oh, guys. Still trying to check something here. So we have fifty-six thousand five hundred for our DR. Head coming to this race. Are we going to come out with 56,500? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure if we get like a top three, top two, we should be able to hold a little bit of position. But if we do really bad around here, then we'll lose a lot of DR. <clears throat> and after that, we'll jump into some uh, daily race C. Right, I'm going to switch it to negative three and. Uh, I think this is a grid star, so we'll have to switch it to one on the traction control. Yep, 
Yeah, it's the same vehicle for everybody. It's uh, actually, I don't know what what car is this, guys. If you guys know what it is, the Crown Crown Athlete G. I don't know who makes this car though. Oh, Toyota. Interesting. Man, I'm so scared. Turn one into Fuji is never fun. Oh, there goes one car. And we're up into fourth, boys. That's not a pretty sight either. Brazilian goes out wide. Probably gonna get a penalty. But not too shabby of a start, guys. Okay, now I can see why you guys recommend a negative three. It just gives you a lot more understeering to some of these corners. Because when you have any more towards the rear, especially on the third sector, the car just feels like it wants to spin out. <laughs> Look at all those penalties right behind us. It's a Corolla? Okay. So it's basically the European version of the Corolla. Or the Camry. It's just like... I don't know if it's the Camry. Take a good look at the front. No, actually, no, yeah, that might look like... That might be the Corolla. I don't think it's the Avalon. The Avalon is a little bit more boxy and a little more aggressive looking. We're not doing too bad here for a first race with this car. I got bad exit. It's the Camry? Oh, okay. I don't know, I just, I've never seen a Camry like that. I'm 
I'll take you guys the word for it though. Not really gaining anything on edible Colombo. Might have to just settle for a second or third place here. Unless he really screws up this final corner. <laughs> Almost lost it. What's going on, Ray? Neither Corolla. Okay, so what is it then, guys? You guys have been saying it's a Corolla. You guys have been saying it's a Camry. At this point, I'm just going to call it a Tundra. Because <laughs> nobody knows what this car is. I'm not used USA, so I don't know what car it is. It's a boat. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a boat at the end of the day. It's based off a car. I mean, let me, all right, I'm gonna I'm a do the honors of just Googling it. I don't think it's an Avalon though. I think it looks too too narrow to be an Avalon. The Avalon it's a lot more meatier meatier and aggressive, I think. Alright, let me see. The Crown Crown Athlete G is a what in United States? What if it's like its own car? And we just yeah. Just don't know. Like it's only it's only specific towards the Toyota Crown. Oh, I'm looking right here. I'm on I'm on Wikipedia. The Toyota Crown. Um uh, it's an executive car. Um Okay, so in North America, it's the successor for the Toyota Cressida. Okay. I think it's his own thing in 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 Europe. Like I don't think it's a. I don't think they manufacture this car. In North America. It's the car your grandparents buy. <laughs> uh, I don't know about your grandparents, but my grandparents, they buy, uh, I'm, I'm not even gonna say what they buy. Yeah, Lexus and Toyota are together. Lexus is like the, uh, the, uh, how can I say it? The, the luxury brand of Toyota. Thank you, Drew. Yeah, I kind of honestly forgot about that race. We were just so busy trying to figure out what the hell that car was. All right, let's see if we can get a better lap time here. So we right now have a 126.9. Can we get it down to 126.7 on our first try? Too wide. Oh yeah, duct tape. I'll run the duct tape. Don't worry, Grim. I'll run the duct tape. Two 
53. And we still have enough time to do two more laps. Maybe three. lap here. Stop seems all right. Set ourselves up for the next one, North 27.08. So not not too bad of a banker lap. We're actually losing time. Damn, we just can't get it down to the 20, 26s like we did in Europe. I don't know if we have enough time to do another lap. Which is all over the place. Alright, we'll back out. We'll back out and then we'll, uh. Shit, let me turn this off. Turn off my controller. Uh, turn that off and let's back out. Get on the duct tape car. If you guys don't know what the duct tape car is, you guys are gonna find out right now. So, since I do run duct tape on my pedals right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, one of uh, my viewers made me this car right here it's called the duct tape car so <laughs> you guys are gonna see it right now brake balance to five yes that's the best way to drive around in the uh, audi tt is using brake balance five all right <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. We don't get any of the cool cars. All the German cars aside for Volkswagens are luxury here and too expensive. Yeah. Like to get a, if you want to get a Mercedes, an Audi, um, what else is German? Um, Mercedes, Audi, uh, I can't think of any other car, guys. That's German. Uh, I guess you would say Lamborghini, but Lamborghini, you already know Lamborghini's a, uh, a luxury car or an exotic. Yeah. You've been using brake balance at zero the entire time? <laughs> no, mate. Whenever you use an Audi TT, I've learned from uh, Wheaties, always go for brake balance five. Porsche. Yeah, Porsche and BMW. There you go. Porsche, BMW, Audi, and Mercedes. They're all they're all luxury brands. Luxury brands here in the, the United States. So if you drive one of those, you're basically higher middle middle class or high uh, high class. Volkswagen. No, uh, Volkswagen is like more of a uh, because of the bug. Because of how popular that car was and how common it is, it's more of just like an average car. So it's not like it's not like your luxury car. I don't know how I can forget the Porsche and the BMW. Maybe the, maybe because uh, Porsche needs to join Formula One and also BMW. I don't know. <laughs> Volkswagen is usually the first car for some people because they make the up polo and the golf. I don't know what the polo is, but I know what the golf is. The up. If you're neck deep in debt, but want to look like you're re yeah. <laughs> Basically, if you drive a <laughs> yeah, that's a good that's a good analogy. If you're if you're neck up in debt and you want to look rich, then yeah, you get a Porsche or a BMW or a or a. Uh, <laughs> or an Audi or a Mercedes. <laughs> Technically, they were sober, yeah. <laughs> I was just laughing at Ray's joke. That was a good one, Ray. That was a good joke. So if you ever see me in that car, guys, you know you know that I'm in debt. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Let's see where we match up here on this one. Pretty sure there's going to be a few guys on. It's, it's about the time where everyone's getting off. Yeah, it looks like we are in six. We got Postigo in third. We got Podium in fourth. We got Xavier in fifth. We got K-Bonix in seventh. K-Bonix is a really fast guy. We got CNF Fake Taxi in here once again. Are you in the chat still, mate? There you go. Stream snipe. <laughs> <laughs> nice mate. Um, we got Eric GTR in first. Eric GTR, and then we got Quake PX7 Quake. It's actually not that far off a of lobby because we got a we got a 126.7 in the EMEA account. So if we if we transfer that over to the states, then we're starting in third or second. So, I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The Revenge Joe, how's it going? I see you in here. Where are you at? You got Revenge Joe. And Fake Tax already said hi to you, so. <laughs> What's going on, Quake? How's it going? Alrighty guys, sixth place. Red, your channel member? Hey, hey, hey. Corn cake. Good to see you. Love your YouTube. Thank you so much, corn cake. Red, what what's your name on the channel member? Wonder if you, are you talking about like channel member membership or are you talking about like subscribe like subscribe to me? <laughs> Uh, 
both sides of the street to nurse cart? Yeah. Lucas! Switch over to EMEA account. Probably would have been in your race. Oh, interesting, Lucas. Yeah. Me, I might do one more race, so if you want to jump back into the uh, United States account, do it, and then we can race. <laughs> yeah, everyone's driving the Audi boobies. <laughs> the Audi titties. Alrighty, guys. Sixth place in our infamous duct tape car. Where can we get here? We got a good cushion from us in Cape Onyx. So we have to just focus up on head. Try to get around these three guys up ahead and then uh, see if we can catch up to Quake and Eric. Oh, getting a little squirrely. Oh! I don't know where the podium was going. Kind of freaked me out. Postigo gets a half a second penalty. The half a second is gonna be enough for us to get around Posigo. I think it is. And plus, he's, he's kind of pulling away from Xavier. guys doing oh, Xavier misses breaking point <laughs> It's actually a pretty good battle we got going on here, but we lost so much time to the top two guys because they keep fighting with each other.
And again, we just got nowhere to go. I think we got podium. Oh my god, we can't get around him. So frustrating. Oh, there you go, he's off. Now we can try to catch up to try to fight for podium. No, we just got around podium. The irony. <laughs> we got around podium, so we could try to get to podium. It's actually pretty, pretty nice if Bustigo can get another half a second penalty. I would welcome that. Look at that, we gained so much time on these, on these guys. Alright, Quake came into the pit. Is he gonna try to do it in a two stop? Oh, no, he's coming on the mediums. Oh, not again. Why do I always keep making contact with them there? Ah, uh, that's like the fourth time this stream that I made contact right there. Go ahead, Postigo. Ah, uh, it's very frustrating that we keep making the same mistake over and over.
Oh, we got that from behind. I don't think it was a brake check. He braked where he needed to. I just didn't take into the account that, you know, he's... What we were going to break at. It's going to be a lot later than he was going to break at. Oh, well, he's off now. Uh, sir, penalty. Alright, and let's come into sir, or not sir, or penalty, but get our piss up in. A little bit of contact right there. <laughs> God, my God. <laughs> How does it come off in 7th? You can still try to sh shoot for a 5th. If Postigo lets us get around him. Oh, there goes Postigo. I don't know how he held it together. That goes in podium. Try to make it on the inside. Let's fake taxi up ahead. This might actually turn out a lot better than I was expecting. I thought we were going to finish at least in like 7th or 8th because of that 4 second penalty and then we slowed up for Postigo, but look at this, we're fighting for 4th against Fake Taxi. I think he actually just braked a little bit. <laughs> Alright, can we not make contact with him on this right corner right here. Alright, we got through it cleanly. Fake taxi went wide. Messed up that corner. We 
got a Cape Onyx right behind us, huh? Jesus. Now you pay attention to the road. I think Postigo rage quit. Yeah, this fight is long from over between us and Cape Onyx and Big Taxi. Just wondering if Cape Onyx is going to try to make his move at. So he's got about two laps left. Slowly building the gap though, that's that's the positive part right now. <laughs> no, we made a little mistake. Still not close enough, though. To make an overtake. I'm pretty sure he's going to be pushing really hard. His final lap, boys. Can we hold off Cape Onyx? For the fourth, after a horrendous race so far that I've produced. Got better exit than him. He actually extended the gap. We're catching up to Xavier. mistake try to see if we can break the toe oh keep on I think he's gone I don't see him right behind us anymore. He's dead. Peace out. <laughs>
He must have gone wide and just spun himself out. Alrighty boys, after a terrible like middle part of the race, we're able to at least come back and come home with a fourth place. Probably could have gotten a podium. Oh well. Come on fourth. Woof. That was a hard race. Oh, I feel really bad for for uh, Posito. I, I think he actually left. I think he rage quit. Uh, he either rage quit or he got disconnected. You suck on the mediums. <laughs> it's okay, mate. It's okay. You held on, so you did pretty well. Holy Jesus! Alexander with a hundred dollar donation. Merry Christmas. Remember my name. I'll talk to you later for a charity race. Alexander, whoa. Oh my god. You might be the biggest donator I've I've had. Everyone give everyone give a high five or round of applause for Alexander Tubbs. Yeah, definitely, mate. You <laughs> I mean, even with five dollars, you got my attention. But geez, a hundred dollars! Thank you so much, mate. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, if you do want to talk to me about my, the a charity race, I have my my email in the description down below. So if you want to contact me, that's the best way to contact me. Um, it's through that email, or if you have me on Twitter or on Instagram, that's also a great way to to uh, um, contact me. But Jesus, Alexander, thank you so much. I'm I'm. I'm shaking right now because of that. Like I said, everyone, everyone in the chat, man, just give Alexander a round of applause for that. Thank you so much, man. Hope you don't see that while he's racing, he might crash. <laughs> no, I didn't see I was racing. Yeah, glad you remember. Thank you so much, Red, for a uh, good race. Well done. Thank you also for membership. Uh, Intel Red, thank you so much for. Thank you. For watching the streams. Watching the videos and streams. Uh -oh. Streams. Cool. P PX7 Quake got the fastest lap time. <laughs> oh, I'm going back. Shout out Alex. Yeah, definitely. Okay, bet. <laughs> yeah, Alexander, like I said, just uh, message me right there. I have a lot of YouTube interested. Rory, Tidge, and the rest. Nice. Yeah, mate. Um, I'm always up for a charity race. Uh, just let me know again just all the information all the details date time um, and yeah yeah Rory is awesome I haven't I haven't seen Rory in a while he every once in a while he pops into the stream says hello I haven't watched any of his yeah red you can send me definitely anybody like I said anybody who races against me or doesn't even race against me you just watch the stream whatever um, if you want to send me a friend request Send me a friend request. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever rejected a friend request. So, um, send me a friend request if you want to be friends on PSN. But, um, on that note, guys, I don't know how to I don't know how to transition. Um, we're gonna do one more race. Uh, here around Brands Hatch. I don't think we lost any DR. Let me check real fast. Um. So at 56,300, we are now at 56,900, so we actually gained some DR, but we don't have a fast enough lap time to be like qualifying the top three and all that stuff. Highest donation I've seen on a stream. Yeah, that's the... <laughs> I've never seen a donation in $100, so yeah, Alexander definitely just, like, he... My, my brain is blown. Ollie and Key as well. Okay. Well, <laughs> Alexander, if you put Key on the race, though, you already know that Key's gonna win it all. <laughs> we gotta. If you gotta. If you gotta put Key in the race, you gotta put Key in the back. 
if you if you want to have like an entertaining race, because uh, he's he's way too fast for all of us. Yeah, Ollie's cool too. Roy's awesome. And I love Key because he goes to all the Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Key does. I've never actually saw it like that. Key does actually kind of go Gordon Ramsay on some of his streams. Like he goes, <laughs> gets really into his race craft. Yeah, this will be an epic race. Coming in with zero practice. Okay, keep your eye. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Stop seeing key 25. We all know it's key five from Liverpool. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand that that joke, mate. <laughs> he said, "Hey, it's all about the charity." A <laughs> little. Yeah, it definitely is. Like I said, Alexander, just send me all the information, mate, and uh, we can definitely keep in touch and uh, and. Uh, See how we can get all this together. <clears throat> Tijni is faster than all of us. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Well, yeah, Tijni is pretty fast. Actually, I don't know who would be faster, Tijni or Key in a race. Cause every single time I race against Tijni, he's always in the back. And the one time where I did race Key and Tijni, and they were both starting in the back, Tijni lost, but Tijni then again was racing a car that he I'm pretty sure he probably wasn't familiar with. So I don't know. <laughs> Ollie was drunk on stream and tried to impersonate Key and called himself Key Five and thought he was from Liverpool. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Ollie is funny. Is Key actually from uh Key said that Tishney's faster? Interesting, simple boy. Alex, contact to Eric GTR. He was in this race. He was fast too. Yeah, who's the, you guys? I don't. Who's Eric GTR? Is he another YouTuber or is he uh, is he uh, someone that's like in the um, the Gran Turismo finals or something? Because I've I've that's the first time I've ever raced against him. I might have raced him before, but that's the first time you guys have uh, said said his name. So I don't really know who he is. I'm doing a race two hour race tomorrow on ACC. Nice little C. It's been a while since I played on ACC. Uh, Matthew, I'm racing from Las Vegas. So Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> Key knows that Tidge is faster. <laughs> he's won the World Series? I know he's been in the World Series, but I never I didn't know he won. He's a really fast dude, been around since early GT days, yeah. Lucas Key is probably the my least favorite GTS YouTuber, but I'll watch him because he's fast. <laughs> Why don't you like him, Lucas? Ooh, this is a this is a lobby. <laughs> we got pushed down all the way to eighth. We got UDI. We got a UDI member. UDIs are a really quick Brazilian team. Got podium back here. We got BS Rider. BS Rider was actually in one of my in one of my videos. Uh, when that Lamborghini took him out, so good to see him here. Postigo William is here. Actually, let me say let me say sorry to Postigo from last race because I don't know if he rage quit or if he uh, got. Oops, almost said thank you. First time, sorry. Yeah. Sicken boy, yes, I'm streaming right now. Sicken boy, but Sicken boy, this is my last race of the day, so yeah. Uh, actually, I can't just put good evening. I have to put yes. There we go. His race against Fraga is legend? Yeah, he made it to the grand finals, I think so. Okay. He was the co founder of CNF team. Oh, Eric? Eric was the co founder? Matthew's awesome. You're in Vancouver, mate. You're not that far away from me. Yes, he is a YouTuber, but not stream a lot. Okay, I'll I'll check him out. I've never heard about him. You'll invite Kate Bonix as well, friend of yours. Nice. Alex, where are you from? Are you, do you live here in the United States? <laughs> or do you live? Uh, sorry, my bad. Do you live in the Americas? <laughs> That WRL podium guy pitted and didn't change his tires and refueled to 100, and he raged almost the whole of last race on his stream earlier. <laughs> That's funny. 
I was raging right now behind him because I couldn't get around him. He was he was holding us up and I just could not get around him. Eric's really fast. Yeah, Eric, well, Eric killed PX7 last race, or one of the PX7 members, so, yeah. I'm surprised he's not racing this time. Alrighty, guys. Alrighty guys, just falling right behind UDI. Oh no, the top five are starting to pull away big time. Trying to see if I on the inside here. Then we got UDI here. Uh, so we catch up to podium now. That little group up ahead. Oh no! I don't know how we held it together, boys, but somehow we kept it. Alright, second boy gave us a tap. Thank you so much. Like, we know we can catch up to these guys up ahead. I got the uh, two second penalty. BS Rider. I wonder what he got. He probably got the two second penalty for making contact with somebody's rear. I'm, I'm like 99% for sure that's what happened. Villian got a another half a second penalty. I'm telling you, those half a second penalties just plague Postigo. Oh, he's trying to push that Postigo. off all right we lost a little bit of time there but at least we still got a position out of it I'm gonna try to catch up to BS Rider now
still right behind BS Rash, just chilling with him. And podium. Oh, podium's off! Masterful, masterful boys. We might be setting ourselves up here for a podium. If we could get closer. Alright, we're definitely making up some time on BS Rider. Now in the slipstream. Oh yeah, there we go. We're almost gonna be right on his back bumper here. Now, where do we try to send it in so we can get an overtake? Probably get him on the exit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna have to follow follow him through here. Or can we get him on the outside? <laughs> Legendary! Wait, wait, wait! It's still not over. Ah, uh, we got him! Legendary stuff right there, boys. Let's go. And we got keep AI with the mistake, or I don't know if he got pushed off, but trying to clean off his tires. No, boy, we're not gonna let you. Oh no, keep it! No, keep it. <laughs> Give us a one second penalty because he was trying to get into the pits. Ah, uh, no, that might that might ruin our podium. I think that killed our chances for a podium, guys. Uh. <laughs> oh F <laughs> That was some clean drive, thank you Mohammed. Yeah, we made some good overtakes on this run. Like we had to do a crazy overtake on podium. And Ryder raced us really nice and clean. He raced us hard but he raced us clean. I didn't think that move on the outside would have worked. Uh, sir, 
yard penalty. Uh, where are we gonna come out here? Oh man, these faults are taking such a wide like that. Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, keep has got a three-second penalty, and BS Rider got a penalty. Okay. What did I jump into here? You know what? We might still be able to get that podium. Alright, 1.1 1 .1 second. 1.2. Oh, geez, I didn't realize UDI was that close to us. It's gonna be very close if we can get around BS Rider. I think we did. I think we got it. Yes, we did. Alright, up to podium, but we do got UDI right behind us. I don't know if he's on the softs. Or if he's just really that fast on the mediums. Just try to run my lines as consistent as I can. Keep an eye on him. Yeah, he's keeping up with me. We ran a little bit wide. Try to defend the inside. He's gonna try to get on the outside. Oh, he made it work. What a move. Nice. Oh, he's wide. <laughs> he's wide again. Still not over, boys. So we got three laps to go. Anything can happen.
Like we're, we're getting good runs, we just can't complete the pass. What's going on? I am awesome. Still falling right behind UDI. Do we, do we do another move like we did to uh, um, Travis Hill earlier? <laughs> we're get, we're there. We're right behind him. Just can't find the opening. RIP to that bullard. Alrighty guys, so we go up to the inside, going to turn number one. Oh, I tried it. Go ahead. Again, man, I, t I just made too aggressive of a move. It cost me. I'm gonna try to push him up so we can try to get away from this pack behind us. I lose one position because of that, yep. Oh, the NSX drag race, and we get fifth. I'll take a fifth, I guess. Ah, oh, my back. I did military training in Australia, they were fun, most interactive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and needed a translator while this is South Korea. It was a lot of fun. You came out through this funny. <laughs> nice, Lucas. <laughs> Mom said RIP. 
Yeah, today could have been a lot. We actually we came off with a lot of good finishes today. We actually gained a lot of DR. Um, we were at fifty six thousand two hundred before this. Now we're at fifty. Where are we at? We're at fifty seven two hundred. So and we gained about a thousand DR. But yeah, I miss here. And podium would get on the podium. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for your service. Oops, yeah, definitely oops, Ray. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. Let me say sorry to the UDI bands. Yeah, BSR, that was a fun race. Good race with you. UDI Ben said thanks for the clean race. That race was incredible. Yeah, it was good to be UDI. <laughs> he said F. <laughs> Pub. There you go. Red. Thank you so much, Red. Uh, good race. Well done. Thanks for the race. Alrighty, guys. Back out. Alrighty. Um, PX, I am from Clarksville, Tennessee. Ooh, all the way from Tennessee, eh? Nice. I've never been to Tennessee, but, um, my folks have been to Tennessee. They say it's really nice out there. I have to go one day. I've, like, all the southeastern part of the United States, that's where I need to travel to. I've been everywhere else. I've been to Northeast, North, West, Middle, everywhere except for the Southeast. The Southeast I still have not checked out yet, but I have to check out the Southeast and the Eastern part of the United States. But thank you again so much, Alexander. Just uh, again, just send me the email and or on Twitter or on Instagram and uh, we'll talk more, okay? But uh, for the rest of you guys, let me put it back to me. There we go. Hey, you guys can see me again. Thank you again for tuning into the stream. We had a lot of fun. We did have a lot of ramming, though. I think I took out, like, three people today. So I have to be a lot more cautious on these races because I've been very, very naughty on a lot of these situations. But, yeah, we'll try to avoid getting those types of penalties and avoid making that many collisions on the next uh, stream, but our next one is going to be for the manufacturing race, which is going to be tomorrow. Um, it looks like it's going to be tomorrow at uh, 4 o'clock, so I'll try to see if I can get the stream for the first race. If not, it might be a little later of a stream, so it might start like around 4.30 the stream, so that we can reach the 5 o'clock race, but um, I'll let you guys will see. You guys will see what time the stream will start. I will post it up um, as soon as I know what time I'll be able to make the race, so Keep an eye out for that. Um, Mohammed, you got a win in one race. So yeah. yeah, we did. We did get a win. Yeah, but too bad it was in our EMEA account. I wish we could have gotten a win on our United States account, but we were racing against too many good guys. Yeah, good night, Mohammed. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the race. Little C's from Knoxville. Nice. It is beautiful here. I'll hit you up in a few days. All right. Sounds good, Alexander. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, I, I, I wouldn't mind checking out Tennessee yet. I don't hear anything but positive over there, especially from my folks that visit over there. They love that area. <clears throat> but, yeah, definitely stay safe, Drew, and everybody else. Sandhav, thank you for all the racing today, man. Go to sleep. I know it's like 4 o'clock over there, so definitely go to sleep. It's way too late. The Kingdom, what wheel are you using? I'm using a G29. Uh, just a standard G29. Nothing, no mod on the brake, nothing. CRG Knoxville Nationals. Is that a race that happens in Knoxville for like um for NASCAR or something or what? Oh, you just got in here, the kingdom. Nice. Also, guys, I'm thinking about doing some NASCAR stuff. Would you guys be interested in watching some NASCAR things? Also, uh, Zepter, thank you so much for the subscription. Or Zepter, I think I said your name right. Zepter. <laughs> Sprint cars. Oh, okay. I've always wanted to drive a sprint car. 
It looks it looks fun. But yeah, would you guys watch if I do were to do iRacing and do like NASCAR races? Because I've been doing a lot of NASCAR racing on iRacing recently, and it's just it, I've I've gotten that itch to go back and uh, do some more racing there. But only if you guys would want to watch that. If not, then I'd, it, it's cool. Have a good night, day, everyone. Yeah, have a good day to you, Alexander. Or good night, because I know it's probably, what is it? It's going to be 7 or 19. So it's going to be 7 here, so it's probably like, what, 9 o'clock over there? Or 10 o'clock over there, because you guys, are, I think, are Eastern time. But, yeah. Lil C's definitely said NASCAR. Yeah, Lil C, I remember we used to join into the Twitch stream, so. Yeah, I know you, you don't mind NASCAR. Yeah, good night. Good night, Ray. NASCAR is going to be heading to Nashville next year. I thought they were already in Nashville. But I guess they weren't. Like I thought, I swear they did a race in Nashville like two years ago, three years ago, and then Brad Keselowski like wrecked, going into turn number one. Or am I thinking of Kentucky? So I get those two tracks kind of confused. But yeah. All righty, guys. Um, I'm gonna probably work on this video today i'm gonna to be releasing one on thursday and also there's gonna be basically i'm gonna to try to get all the contents i can every single day this week so tomorrow's gonna to be fia races we're gonna to try to get in a video on thursday and then friday also another video maybe a stream on friday too i don't know yet um if i don't stream on friday we'll definitely have a stream on saturday i don't know if it'll be open lobbies uh it might be but uh i don't think we're gonna be doing a stream on sunday because it's gonna be the the Formula One race, so I'll probably be like tired by that in the midday. But yeah, like I said, we'll we'll see what we do for the week. But for sure, I'm gonna try to get Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with some content, and then Saturday will be an extra bonus if uh, we don't get it in on Friday. But um, CRG Ford Fairland just got a G29, so horrible on it. Any suggestions? Um, honestly, I can't give you really that much suggestions. Just keep practicing on it. Um. The only thing I can tell you is um, do multiple. You have to just get better at it and by uh, just putting a lot of man hours into it. I, it took me like two or three weeks to get better on my G29. Um, but once you get it down, you should be faster. Um, it'll be a lot more easier to control the throttle and braking inputs. Inputs. So when you trail brake, it should be a lot more easier um, as well as doing other functions while you're racing. So. Yeah, that's the only thing I could tell you, mate, is just continue um, practicing it with it and putting in some hours. Yeah, have a good night to you, Goaded. Trucks on dirt on Knoxville and NASCAR to the fairgrounds, I believe. Oh, okay, interesting. So it's, it is 9 o'clock over there. I thought you guys were at Eastern Time, but I guess not. Which is cool, though. Last time they raced there was back in 2011. So maybe that's what I was thinking about. Because I remember, I swear I remember they, they raced there a while back, like, in the 2010s, I don't know if it was like 12 or 13. I'm a Joey Logano fan. I'll tune in tomorrow. I'll be doing well race. All right, sounds good, Lucas. Do you got a fan attack? Nice. Thanks, PX. Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. I really couldn't help you out, Ford. Like I couldn't give you like a secret, uh, a secret formula to getting better at this. I mean, the only thing I could tell you is just put in more hours, mate. That's that's the only thing I could tell you. And uh, make sure you map out your buttons correctly. So map out your buttons to where you feel comfortable with. For me, I have like the R3 used for the um, the rear mirror because I always like to look in the mirror a lot. And then I got the R2 for the blinkers and um, I put the D-pad for like brake balance and all that good stuff. So uh, map out your buttons to what what's very, very comfortable for you. You're on the East Coast, uh, Lucy. Nice. You'll have to relearn to race with the wheel, but you will be faster in the end. Yeah, basically, Alexander. That's that's kind of how it is. Not not kind of. That's that is how it is. Again, it took me two weeks to get really good on the. Well, I don't want to say really good. It took me two weeks just to get comfortable with the wheel, and I would even argue that it took me about a whole entire half a year just to get really really fast with the wheel and uh, I'm still learning as it is now <clears throat> Nashville isn't hour away from Knoxville nice alrighty guys I'm gonna call it right there thank you again to everybody that tuned in on this Tuesday stream I know it was kind of awkward that we did it you know 
late in a Tuesday. But like I said, I didn't have a chance to get it to get one in tomorrow or yesterday. But again, we, tomorrow we are going to be doing that fire races, and then I'll try to get some more content on Thursday and Friday. Huge shout out once again to Max Turbo for the $10 and a really, really, really big congrat or not congratulations, but a really big legendary shout out to Alexander Tubbs with the $100 donation today. Thank you again so much, mate. Really it hits me right here in the fields because we've been doing it for so long. And, and um, yeah, just thank you so much. And if you want to get a hold of me again, I'll let you know how to get a hold of me so that we can talk more about that charity race. Um, but <laughs> thank you so much for the subscription. Who's that? The Kingdom. Thank you for subscribing. Um, yeah, everyone who subscribed and left a like on the on the uh, stream, thank you again. Also as well, <laughs> you're welcome, Fafnir. Thank you for joining in. And for I think for now I will do FIAs on the pad, practice on the wheel, on dailies. Yeah. Or um, if you don't want to lose DR, I would also just do open lobbies and on the wheel. Good idea. <laughs> That's just thing until the end. Yeah, until next time, keep it. Next time, don't try to force your way down into the pits. <laughs> that screwed me up, mate. But yeah. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to call it right there. So, good morning, good afternoon, good night, good evening. Whatever time it is where you guys are at, whether it's Tuesday or Wednesday. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And again, I'll see you guys on Wednesday for the FIA races. So, until then, stay awesome, stay beautiful. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.